Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about my other video that I posted. Sorry, my hair is just kind of like, it's the morning, I just woke up, so yeah. I want to talk about my other video I posted about how some of these, um, Asia, I put the title, it said some of the Asian attacks are fake. Now, when I made this video, I didn't make it expected to think that you guys would think I was racist towards Asians. I'm not racist towards Asians. I am very far from being racist towards Asians. No. That's not, that's not the case. I just was trying to show you guys what the media is doing. The media is real. What the media does is the media adds flame to the fire. Like they will do anything. What I'm just trying to tell you guys is look. Now, look back to back with all the like five years that we dealt with Trump or whatever and how there was just basically all the stuff being done to black people like on the news and all that stuff. I had to wake up to realize that not all those stories were real. Look at Juicy Smollett. Look at Juicy Smollett. The media went ahead and they went ahead and they just fucking just went ahead and put that story out there. They did not care whether it was fake or not. I knew the shit was fake once I first saw that story. I knew it was bullshit. And that's what I'm just trying to say is just use discernment and know that the media, they're not everything that you see is real. Not everything you see, things are put there to rile people up. The Juicy Smollett thing was put there to rile people up. Once I saw Juicy Smollett, sorry, I'm like, okay, that woke me up to, oh my God, like for these past six years, not all those news stories of like the attacks on black people, not all those were possibly real. And I had to wake up and realize that. I had to wake up and realize, I had to wake up and realize that the media was putting a lot of these stories are being put out to really aggravate people and if you notice it the media keeps on bringing up the history about like they'll like like to bring up the history about black people and stuff like that and when you bring up history of stuff that has been done to different races and i'm not talking just black race any race that stuff where people have been hurt or or injured or you know attacked or persecuted or anything like that it's gonna piss people off I'm going to tell you something. History is something that can really piss people the fuck off. And it can really trigger people because basically when you hear the story, it's kind of like it, 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 it's like it's happened to you because it's your race. It's, 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 you know, it's your people and it's like it pisses you off. And yeah, I mean, and these attacks, these Asian attacks has to stop. This is out of control. I mean, this is out of control. And, you know, I am going to be, I'm going to tell you guys that when I was in California, I've been dealing with this gang stalking shit. And um, there was some incidents where there was an Asian girl and I was at the beach and she came and sat near me. She put a hat on specifically to kind of be like hidden, like to kind of be, you know, a little bit discreet. But she had a phone in her hand and she kept on looking at me and she was using a direct energy weapon strong sonic weapons are being used and this is what i'm trying to tell people is that like now i'm not saying all but some asians have been involved in this gang stalking in california and they have been using very strong direct energy weapons and sonic weapons that are used to bring somebody from zero to 100 in a fucking minute these are weapons that are used by military and design, this is some kind of really sick shit. And I have a picture there of this girl. She came to the beach and was using this weapon. And this, whatever she was using on her phone was making me really angry. It's ca it causes you headaches. It causes you pain, first of all, which really gets you agitated. It messes, it brings your mood from zero to 100. So I honestly, I'm going to be honest. I felt like going over there and kicking that bitch in the face. Because I knew exactly what she was doing. And this is what has been going on all across California. These strong weapons are being used on many people. There was, there also was, an, there also were times that this house was being used next door to gang stock. It was being used and people were traveling in and out of it. They were coming from foreign countries from foreign countries in Asia from China and stuff like that and there are some weapons being used next door some kind of sonic weapons and um yeah that was being done and um you know I think it's been possibly used on other people and people are noticing it now of course I'm not saying it's all it's only a certain group of people that are doing this it's a certain group of people that are doing this and this is a real serious problem and I'm not sure maybe I'm I'm sure other people possibly have woken up to it and have noticed that these weapons are being used and I I, I don't know but um 
you know, it's really a horrible thing that this is going on, that that, 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 that they're using these weapons. Because the thing is that what's going on is this is being done. And then next thing you know, innocent people are being attacked who are not doing this, who are not involved in this, you know. And um, it, it's crazy. From what I suspect, the people that are the Asians that were using these direct energy weapons and sonic weapons are part of the Chinese Communist Party or something like that. Some kind of group. I, I have no idea. But I know that this that this is that it was really wrong. That was some really ev that's really evil to do any of this stuff. These group of people that are doing it. It's not it's not just Asian. I mean, it's every race that's using these sonic direct energy weapons. But um, yeah, so basically, um, you know, I want to say that. It, these Asian attacks, it really upsets me. I don't know if you guys know that I am an empath. So when I hear stories and stuff like that, this re it really upsets me. It really fucking pisses me off. And I'm going to tell you guys that when I looked at that story, there was a story that I read about Mar Mark Wahlberg. I read a story about Mark Wahlberg that he attacked some... Um, he attacked some two Vietnamese guys or something like that, and he blinded one of them because he was racist towards them. He was racist towards, I guess, Asians or something like that. And, you know, that pissed me off. Like, that, like, I'm telling you, like, people don't realize, like, stuff like that pissed me off. That makes me want to fight. Like, that shit is so wrong. That really pissed me off when I read that story. Like, I, when I see this stuff and I hear this stuff, it really upsets me. And I, I know a lot of good, like, a lot of Asian people are really nice. I've met a lot of good Asian people, and it, it, it's just like, oh, my God, like, it's crazy. And that's why, like, I'm thinking, you know, I think they need to talk more about things like that, about, you know, Mark Wahlberg attacking these two guys from Vietnam, and they need to talk more about things from the past, like the, um, there was a Rock Springs Massacre. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. I actually had just, um looked that up. There was a Rock, Rock Springs Massacre. They killed a bunch of Chinese people and stuff like that, like, you know, things like this in the past need to be brought up and stuff like that. And, you know, bring more of that stuff up and, you know, bring it more to attention and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I am not racist. I'm not racist. So I just wanted to make that, that clear that I am not racist towards Asians at all. So I just want to make that clear. And I hope you guys all have a good day. And, uh, yeah, and I'll try to come out with some more videos soon.